What is up guys? So today the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 just released the brand new One UI 6.1 update and today I'm going to be going over all the new features starting with Galaxy AI and more. So the Galaxy Z Flip 5 got a lot of new AI updates but sadly it did not get all of them. So the first and most important Galaxy AI feature that I use every day is circuit search and thankfully the Galaxy Z Flip 5 did receive it So basically it's just an easy way to search anything that is on your screen So just give it the time to do a regular search and it will pick up exactly what is on your screen as long as you highlight it So let's go ahead and do the settings application and yeah, it does the settings application. So that is the first feature that the Galaxy Z Flip 5 got that I absolutely love and the next one is the new text AI feature, I guess. Like, I think it's uh, text, what's it called? It's like chat assist or something. So you have uh, chat translation, writing style, and spelling and grammar. And then also the microphone for like text to, or voice to text got way better. So let's go ahead and just try it out. Hello, do you want to meet for dinner tomorrow at 7 o'clock in the morning? Not sure why we're going to do dinner in the morning, but why not? So as you can see, it did a really accurate transcribing of my voice into text, and it was in like real time, so it did, it does way better than it used to. And then here we can do chat translation, which just translates the uh, the chat, basically, literally. Um, so if you write it in English, it'll uh, send it in Spanish or whatever language you have it set to. And then writing style just gives you a bunch of different categories to write it in. So there's original, professional, then there's casual, social, polite, and emoji. And then we also have spelling and grammar, which just literally does that. It corrects minor things in your text just to make it better. And so let's just go to writing style. So let's do professional. Insert and see what it does. Whoa, that's really long of this email. Okay, it says email, so I guess it's more tailored for an email. But yeah, so that is the second new AI feature. And the next one is interpreter. So it, uh, so the interpreter <laughs> runs on device. It does not need an internet connection. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, just turn mobile data off. So as you can see, there is no internet connection. So... Hello, my name is William. Uh, I have a tech YouTube channel called Will Tech, and I love reviewing phones, and I am doing this translation on the Galaxy Z Flip 5. So as you can see, it transcribed it right. And if anyone speaks German, please let me know if this works. Okay, let's play it back. Hello, my name is William. I have a tech YouTube channel named Will Tech und ich lieben es, Telefone zu überprüfen. Und ich mache diese Übersetzung auf dem Galaxy Z Flip 5. So yeah, let me know if that was accurate, if you speak German. And then the next AI feature, which I think is super cool, is a feature called Call Assist. So Call Assist basically just um, gives you these two options, text call and live translate. So I'm just going to hit live translate. And once the person picks up, which is just calling my voicemail, um, you can translate in real time. And it's super cool and actually works really well. I've tried it out with some people that I know. And of course, you can just go right back to, can go, of course, of course, you can go right back to the, um, what is it called? Um, to the uh, just regular call. I don't know why that took me so long to think of. So let's see what it says. Translation. Okay, so you can download more, which I'll show you how to do that in a separate video. And yeah, so that is the biggest AI features. And then the next AI feature is generative wallpapers. And if you are not liking the AI stuff that you're seeing right now, and if you want to skip to the next part, I will leave chapters down in the description so you guys can just kind of jump ahead throughout the video. But yeah, so a generative wallpaper is probably one of my like third, fourth favorite AI features and network connection needed. Yes, this does need to connect it to the internet. That's probably why actually the call didn't go through. Um, no network connection. Okay, yeah, so you can, so let's see, uh, just generate images. So for your wallpaper, so let's do lamp. What do we have? Table, bridge, so it's actually lighthouse sounds kind of cool. I agree, yeah, you have to agree to the ser uh, terms of services and you can just edit the little like text fields that have um, the text in more bold, I don't know, uh, like layout or whatever. Um, and this is stuff around it. So here is what we got. So um, let's edit it more. Let's do 
Let's do castle. Flowers. Let's do... You can do, like, elements. Let's choose wool and then pink or purple. Let's choose blue and indigo. So just hit generate again. And this actually is probably, like, the fastest cloud-based AI feature of the Galaxy or of One UI 6.1. So as you can see, it does do super cool... Um, it is super cool, and I'm not going to apply because I like this wallpaper from the Apple Wallpapers. It's my favorite wallpaper app. And then the next feature is the generative AI edits. So if you go into your gallery... So if you go into your gallery and then select any photo, and then you can adjust anything, any picture that you want, and then just have it run its AI and just, you know, fix the, <laughs> you know, edit. Um, however you want to position something, you can remove stuff too. So just give it its time to do that. And you can do, like, literally anything. You can move it bigger, you can make it smaller, you can erase it. And keep in mind, this is AI, so it can, like, replace stuff. If you move something completely, it will just replace it with whatever it thinks should be. There's so just going to hit save, and you can increase resolution or not. So then a visible watermark will be placed at the bottom of your screen. So as you can see, right there, the four little dots. So that is something to keep in mind, but you can just erase that. So that is basically all the big AI features of One UI 6.1, and now just for the overall software and stability. So for just overall stability and animations and just software in general, One UI 6.1 does have a lot to offer. So we have a way better animations and it just does way better. Like as you can see, um, the, uh, the like wallpaper goes around, like just moves around the operating system in a sense like it fades in and out. So it just looks a lot better than the stock One UI 6 or I guess previous One UI 6. And it just feels more like fluid and the animations are better and less choppy. And we now have widgets on the lock screen, which is super nice to have. I love seeing new stuff done to the lock screen. Sadly, the Z Flip 5 does not get the new always on display. It just keeps it to the regular just black always on display, which I think is kind of sad. And as for the cover screen, we do have a few new features, like we can now um, change the like navigation style so you can have this or uh, the like just buttons to just move around the operating system. But other than that, it's pretty standard uh, Samsung UI. There wasn't any major changes except for just better improvements um, for like animations for the cover screen and just overall the whole operating system. But yeah, so that is basically most of the stuff that is new with One UI 6.1. Mostly just AI features this time around. Not many camera improvements, not many battery improvements. Um, I probably will notice better battery. I did also notice that my phone is running a lot better, so a lot smoother. Um, it doesn't like get as warm as it did before. So overall, I think One UI 6.1 is definitely a huge improvement that is definitely worth the upgrade. So if you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching, first of all. But yeah, if you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you're here to the end of the video, that is huge because um, right now my camera is reading eight minutes and 23 seconds, and I'm pretty sure it's like almost a 10 minute video. So that is huge. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, if you enjoyed, please consider subscribing to my channel for more content on the Galaxy Z Flip 5 and just software coverage and just stuff like that. So yeah, and I'll catch you in the next one and I'll see you then.